Hey, uh, I want to do a really quick review for uh, the work I gave you last week. Um, uh, to start, I don't know if you can see my red eyes, but I, I'm sitting here uh, working diligently through all of your blogs that you guys have handed in this week. So uh, take a look pretty soon and the comments will be up. Uh, uh, in general, I really like the responses that people are providing. Uh, lots of folks explained how the first article I gave you was a little bit more challenging to read compared to the second article. Uh, and that's to be expected. That first article was written for professors, uh, whereas the second article, A Change of Heart About Animals, is written for uh, right, a general audience, right, or an audience of folks who are reading the Los Angeles Times. Uh, now, in terms of the actual work that you guys were doing uh, in that second article where you were applying the concepts, I really like a lot of the work that you guys did. Uh, you're definitely pulling out some key techniques or strategies that Rifkin employs in order to persuade the audience to buy into his argument. Uh, and you guys have named all sorts of things. Uh, folks talked about the organization of the text. Uh, folks talked about a lot of the word choice that he used, uh, the naming of the animals, uh, right? Uh, there are uh, tons and tons of different strategies that Rifkin employs. Uh, so that stuff I like, right? We're starting to kind of move in the right direction or uh, have the right orientation uh, to analysis. Uh, now, now, one thing to be careful about, and this is really about writing, and so this is going to play an important role in your first major project, uh, is that you've got to be careful when you write these analytical body paragraphs or these analytical paragraphs like you're doing uh, to stick to one fundamental point. And what I mean by that is that there's a big difference between writing a paragraph that just hands me kind of a list of these things that Rifkin does. Right? So Rifkin organizes the text in a very specific way. Rifkin brings in evidence. Right? You're just listing in that case versus giving me one particular strategy that you see being employed and then analyzing exactly how that strategy works on the audience. So for example, if you were talking about how Rifkin uh, names the animals, right, and that's usually not done when someone reports scientific work, uh, then you explain how that naming of the animals impacts the audience uh, in ways that not naming the animals uh, uh, wouldn't do. In other words, you need to really get into the impacts on the audience. And so you would really only be talking about one strategy in a paragraph, and yet it would take an entire paragraph to explain how that strategy helps the audience buy into a particular position. So uh, there's some kind of uh, writing ideas to take into consideration, right? Really, we're talking about the organization now of a paragraph here. Fundamentally, you're going to have a main idea somewhere near the beginning. You're going to bring in that direct textual support uh, after you've given me uh, that main claim and then you're going to analyze exactly how that direct text uh, gets the audience to buy in. So I hope this helps a little bit, uh, right? We're just starting to get into this work. Uh, take care.